What's up, everybody? Good morning, everyone. So, as many of you guys know, I've been doing music since 2010, 2009-ish. And I've had a lot of good shit happen, and I've had a lot of bad shit happen. One of those bad things is N-Word Boy using my real life name to make money by going under the name Lance Chilkins. And as you guys know, he's been stealing my music and my likeness and my name. And that's why I am currently doing something about it. I am currently working on a secret project behind the scenes, music-wise, that I to where I will be releasing music. Because a lot of you guys have been like, yo, like, when are you releasing new music? Well, I'm currently working on doing that. See, which Chilkins, aka N-Word Boy, does not want me making money off of my music. And fuck yeah, I do, man. See, N-Word Boy does not want me making any money off of my music. He wants me to be broke. He wants me to suffer. My question to you guys is this. How badly do you guys want me to drop some brand new fucking music? You know, guess what, Bill Docs? Unfortunately, things change. Shit happens. And I kind of was forced to come back. I can't really speak on the project, but I can say this. I can say this, though. I know you guys are going to love it. Like I said, I can't speak on what genre, what the music's about, but I can say this, that you guys are going to fucking love it when it drops. Actually, yeah, I would. And I've actually thought about doing that, actually. Actually, I've thought about doing a country album. Kind of going back to my roots of where I began. I've actually thought about that. Like, no joke. Like, I've actually thought about doing a country album at one point. But I am going to say this.
that this N-word boy guy, he needs to be fucking stopped because he's becoming a real pain in the ass. Now, if you guys don't know what N-word boy does and why I'm so having such a hard time shutting him down, to whereas... You know, as for like Marty, I was able to shut him down really quickly. I was able to get him off my back. But the problem with that word boy is this. Every time somebody stands up for me, he doxes them. He attacks them and their family. This has got to stop, dude. This attack of my family shit, it needs to stop. Attacking my friends. That shit ain't cool. Because last night I had somebody reach out that genuinely wanted to help me. And unfortunately... And word boy ended up going after their family. And putting their family in danger. This shit has got to stop, dude. Like, I'm tired of people that I care about. And those that want to help me being attacked. This shit they're doing, that he's doing is, it's not okay. This shit has got to stop, man. Like, seriously. And I mean, don't take it the wrong way, what I'm about to say. Because I'm not trying to attack you at all. I'm really not. But the day that the trolls leave me and my friends alone is the day that I stop acknowledging them. The day that they stop attacking anyone that tries to attack them and help me is the day that I stop acknowledging them. I can't just act like they don't exist because they do. Here's the thing. The only reason why I reply to them is because of what they do to people that actually try to fucking help me. Like I said, last night I had somebody reach out to try to help me. To help me get away from all the bullshit. And N-Word Boy ended up attacking them. Uh, okay, sorry, Bill Dex. My bad. Honestly, man, I don't know what the fuck I did to N-Word Boy, but it needs to fucking stop. This dude's literally going around attacking people I care about, people that try to help me, stealing my fucking music, Like, if you go to N-Word Boy's channel right now, you'll see a lot of what he fucking does. Literally, if you type in these words into YouTube and you go to his community page. 
Like if you go to his page and go to his community tab, if you type that in and go to his community page, you'll see the fucked up shit that he's doing to me. I don't know, dude. Why do these people do anything that they do is more of the question. Actually, no, I don't deserve a Dr. Computer Shop. Have I ever considered selling my music as NFTs? A couple times, yeah. I've thought about it. I just don't know how I would go about doing it. Uh, yeah, let me see what I can do here. Hang on. Uh, let me see what I can do here. I might be able to do it from here, hang on. Alright, slow mode is now off. Trust me, I hate slow mode too. I I know it's a safety feature to catch trolls. Like I know that uh, one of my mods usually has it on to catch trolls, but when they're not on and they're asleep, I usually have it off because I don't. I hate slow mode. Like I absolutely fucking hate it. But I'll be honest, man. I'm getting tired of being pushed around. That all depends, dude. That all depends. Sometimes I write the beat first, sometimes I write the songs first. I bounce between sometimes. Yeah, but at the same time, though. N-Word Boy is stealing my music. Using my name to make money. And every time I drop music, he records it. Because certain people are trolls. And I'm just waiting out the trolls. And that's the thing dude. I want this place to be as peaceful as possible. I want to keep. This. Right here. I want to keep this. 
separate from the troll shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'll just keep banning them, dude. I have no problem with that. They want to keep coming back, I'll just keep banning them. That's not a problem. Because I want you guys to be able to have a safe space to come in, hang out, and have a good time. You see what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to have to, you know, to come in and have to see what I do with because you guys don't deserve that. Y'all don't deserve that shit, bro. I know what I mean, but at the same time, like I said, I cannot ignore what N-Word Boy is doing. You know, I can't do that. Especially when he's taking my music and attacking those that try to help me. That's not something that can be ignored. Guess what, William? I got that shit shut down, didn't I, fuck boy? Thank you, Skydrift. Finally, you're awake. What's up? You know what's funny, Amy? You know what's real funny about that? I tried to keep my life as private as possible. I tried to keep my life as private as I can. But because of this asshole, N-word boy, doing what he does it's made it very difficult for me to have a private life like before he came into the mix yeah I had to deal with fucking William Glory Hole and Marty and all them I had to deal with that yeah but I was able to deal with it in private I was able to handle it in private because they didn't make shit public like that. But N-Word Boy, this dude wants me gone. Like, this dude has said multiple times that he wants me dead. Like, he wants me dead so he can make money off of me. He literally wants to fucking ruin my life. Entirely. Because to him, it's funny. To him, it's funny watching me suffer the way that I do.
<sighs> Let's just do it like this. And continue to room 4. Again. Sorry, I had to do a little bit more reporting. Not the fall games, hundred percent, dude. I love the fall games. Trust me, dude. <laughs> they would find a way. Knowing them, dude, they would find a way to make it happen. Randomize search. Now you see what I mean, Randall? It's so fucking scary that he does this. It's almost like he wants to be me. He literally wants to get rid of me and take over me. He's like a parasite. He's like a virus. He's like a virus that needs eradicated. Do you ever think about being a gray man? If you're talking about being an alien, if you're talking about like being an alien, then not really. I mean, I think it'd be cool to see to see an alien in real life, but I've never thought about becoming an alien I and mean, even though that'd be even though that'd be cool I suppose <laughs> in a weird kind of way I guess Oh, okay, 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 I got you, I got you. Honestly, dude, not really. Because why, like, why become, like, no offense to people out there that are normal, I don't disrespect it. But, if I blend in and I become normal, let's say I do that. Let's say I do that. Who's going to call out N-Word Boy and speak on the matters that actually matter? Who's going to speak up and actually say something? Who's actually going to make it known that there's actually a real problem going on? Do I have any spiritual beliefs? Dude, my spiritual beliefs are so fucking weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, do I believe in an afterlife? Yes. I just don't know what kind of afterlife is going. Like, I basically don't know what's gonna happen. You know? Like, I do believe in an afterlife. I do believe that something is going to happen. I just don't know what yet until it happens. Thoughts on Bigfoot? Whether he's uh, real or not, I don't know. Actually, that was just dead skin, bruh. 
That was literally just a zit that I had on the back of my neck where some dead skin was. But, thoughts on Bigfoot, dude? Honestly, man, I believe that he could be real. I mean, look at how much weird shit's out there that we don't yet know about. I mean, how many things are out there that we don't necessarily know about yet? I mean, how many other forms of life, how many species of animals are out there that we don't know about? Honestly, BJ Chester, I believe that anybody has the ability to be a good person. I do. I do believe that, you know, everybody has that capability. Yeah, I like the president? Fuck no. Sleepy Joe? Fuck that. Put that motherfucker back in the nursing home where he belongs, dude. And in case y'all didn't know, he's actually getting impeached. Because the motherfucker practically tried starting World War III a few weeks ago. So dude is getting impeached. Dude literally tried to start World War III. So yeah, he's getting gone. Thank God. We need someone better. But back to what I was saying to you, BJ Chester. Do I believe that everybody has a good side to them? These trolls, I feel like they could, but they just don't want to. Everybody has the ability to be good. Everybody has the ability to be a good person. Everybody. But these people, they just, they're not. Do I believe mermaids are real? Like I said, how much of that, like how much of the world do we, have we really explored? There's a lot of things that we don't yet know about. Do I watch any Urban Explorers? Oh, oh yeah. I love watching Urban Explorers. I love that shit. What if they believe in the right of what they're doing? Well, that's their choice. I mean, the rest of the world sees what they're doing and knows that it's wrong. So, I mean, it is what it is. Tell out to Ted Bunny. Yeah, for real, dude. Ted Bundy was an evil motherfucker. Exactly, Breeze. We know less than what we don't know. That's that's fat, dude. That's that's actually true. That's very true, dude. Do I do any urban exploration myself? I used to. I used to do a little bit of urban exploration. So far, so good, dude. I'm actually doing really good with it. Thankfully, I got the day off. Why did I stop? Less old stuff to explore. Because I haven't been around all of one. Like, I've already been around Summit Lake, so really there's not much here to explore that's abandoned. 
I mean, yeah, we got the old railroad tracks and shit, but that's really about it. No, like, I already did a video, like, several years ago doing some urban exploration on Summit Lake, um, all that stuff. So, yeah. There's not really much around this area. Did I build my PC? No. Um, the only thing that I really built out of my old PC, out of the one that's underneath down here, not not the gaming one I'm on now, but the other one, there are some parts in there that I did get that I actually had sent to me that, you know, I used to build my stuff. So, yeah. Bro, abandoned subways are the shit. I fucking love abandoned subways, dude. I've actually, we've got a few around here somewhere, I believe. I'm just not sure where. I know New York City's got a crap ton of abandoned subways. Darling, Battlefield, fuck yeah, dude. Battlefield 20, dude, Battlefield 4 is good. Everything up to Battlefield 4 is good. But Battlefield 2048, fuck that. I do not do Battlefield 2048. Like, it's good. But it just, it does, it lacks that same style that the older ones had, dude. And it lacks that same gameplay style that the older ones had. It doesn't have that style to it. Oh, dude. There's, dude, there's literally graffiti on almost every fucking block, dude. I myself actually do a lot of graffiti art as well. I actually do a lot of uh, graffiti style characters. I do mostly spray cans and other random shit like that, but yeah. There's a lot of graffiti around here, and I fuck with it. I love graffiti art, dude. I've always enjoyed a good thing of graffiti. And when it's done properly, and it looks good, I can respect it. But when it's this fucking tag shit of having your name in weird letters, I don't do that. Dude, literally the story is just somebody randomly sent this. That's literally all it was. Somebody literally just like randomly sent this to me in the mail one day with a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> There's not really much of a story there with this. No, like actual subway trains. We do have a subway here, though, and I do love subway. I do fuck with subway. Don't really have one, dude. I just kind of do my own thing. Like I said, it's like there's a subway train that's not in Akron. It's like up in Cleveland or some shit. It's like way, way up. On the on the city side of shit, like I mean, like the major city side of shit, not Akron side. I have been up to Cleveland though a few times. Their subways are fucking cool as shit. Fuck yes. Bro, not gonna lie, dude, if you guys are ever, if you guys are ever in the Akron area, I will say this, if y'all are ever in the Akron area, I will recommend one place for you guys, it's down by the downtown library, it's like right next door, bro, hit up Chameleon Cafe, bro, if you guys are ever in the Akron area, dude, hit up the Chameleon Cafe, it's right downtown by the main downtown library, Dude, their, their shop is small, but dude, it is such a good place to be, man. Good vibes, good people, fun time. Like, it's genuinely a fun place to be around. Like, whenever we're in town, I go there all the fucking time. Like, that's literally my spot. Like, I go there every chance I get. 
Like, whenever I go down to the downtown library to grab movies or a book or whatever, I know, it's hard to believe I actually get out of the house and do shit, but I do. <laughs> but, you know, whenever I go down there, I'll stop in by the Chameleon Cafe, dude. So, if you guys are ever in the Akron area, bro, fucking go there, dude, I promise you. They're a little bit pricey, but, dude, it's so good. It's so fucking worth the food, dude. The food is so worth it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. The food is fucking worth it. <laughs> what kind of books do I read? I read anything from, like, the, obviously me being a anime fan. You know, obviously I love reading my manga. Always have. But just different stuff, dude. Whatever can grab my interest. Whatever can really grab my interest, I'll usually read like, right now, I'm currently, let me show y'all, I actually got this sent from a friend, so it's not necessarily from the library, but, not that, what's that, where did it go, there's my wish for the daughter, I'm looking for that. But I'll sometimes read shit like this right here, which it's actually really good. And if you guys do want a good read, this is what I'm currently reading right now. It's actually very, very dark. Uh, one of my friends from Scotland actually sent me this. But dude, it's definitely good. Like, it actually tells a lot about, um, Scott, like, actual bloody events in Scotland's history. Um, I'll read stuff like that. Um, one of the manga that I know is old, I know it's old, but I am currently rereading again. I know it's old, but... I am currently rereading this right here. This is actually mine. Um, I actually got this from my school library because they didn't want it anymore, so they ended up giving it to me from when I was in high school. So I've had this since I was like in fucking high school. Ever read Dragon Ball? Fuck yeah, dude. I've read Dragon Ball and I've seen every single fucking season, bro. Including GT. GT, yes, I know a lot of people hate on GT, but it's part of this series, so I can't necessarily knock it. But, I know it's hard to believe, but I do actually read, I do watch movies. What the fuck? Hold on, y'all. the fuck was that? Now, if you guys are wondering what kind of movies I enjoy, as far as, like, anime goes. If you guys are wondering who my favorite um, animator is, as far as, like, movies go. This man right here, bro. Motherfucking Miyazaki. You can't beat Miyazaki, bro. And now, Scout, I am not gay, but I do support the LGBTQ community. I do have friends that are. But you can't beat Studio Ghibli, man. You can't do it. Miyazaki is the fucking god of animation, dude. Straight up. Like, you can't beat what he does. I have seen every... Yeah, I've seen every single one of his movies up to the new ones that he is currently working on. So, shout out Studio Ghibli, man. Dude, that Doritos bag, that's actually a uh, limited edition Doritos bag that Doritos collaborated with uh, Playground Games on 
to promote Forza Motorsport when they were working on Forza Motorsport and it was getting ready to come out. So that's literally one of the bags they used to promote it. So I was like, fuck it. Keep that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be around for a while, Chewy. Hey, <laughs> what's the matter, Chewy? I was talking about food, got you hungry, man? Yeah, Black Lagoon was good. Black Lagoon is actually another good one. I actually forgot about that one. Dude, Garen Lagan is also another good one, too. Garen Lagan, dude, fucking awesome. Ever had Del Taco? I don't think we have those around here. I don't know if we have those around here or not. Nah, I mean, way more meat than Taco Hell. <laughs> I got something for you guys. I bet I can make you guys feel old and... I bet I can make you guys feel old in less than two seconds. Do I like Chinese food? Fuck yeah. But hey, I bet you I can make you guys feel old in less than two seconds. Wanna know how? Still in mint condition, do. This is literally a guidebook to like... Uh, let's see, you got all kinds of games in here that they... Like, this is, it's like the guidebooks that you would get for games when you are a kid. Like, you got Super Nintendo, you got Zelda, you got uh, Super Mario, you got all kinds of shit, bro. You got Game Boy Color games up in this mug, dude. Like, all kinds of shit. You got Super Game Boy, you got Super Mario. Uh, which is actually one of my favorite, Super Mario Land 2. Wario Land, uh, Donkey Kong. Metroid, uh, Return of, or Metro 2, Return of Samus, uh, you got Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, love that game. Um, I think that's all of them, oh yeah, you got Kirby's Dream Land. Which is, a, that's actually one of my personal old school favorite games right there. Kirby's Pinball Land. I love Kirby's Pinball Land. You got Tennis and just like, all the different games that came with Super Nintendo, dude. You got World Cup. You got Alleyway. You got Dr. Mario. Yeah, Mario and Yoshi, and I'm pretty sure that's about it. Oh, and you got Tetris. So, yeah. Old school guide right there. Any good games like Fortnite? Bro, there's a few of them, dude. What did I do for work for streaming and stuff? Honestly, bro, I didn't really do much of anything other than do music.
And in case you guys are wondering how big of a Zelda fan I actually am, this should say it right here. And yes, I still have the game. And yes, I still have my, I've still got my Game Boy Advance somewhere. So yes, yeah boys, a massive fucking Zelda fan. I have played every game except for the new ones. The new ones that are on Switch, I have not played those yet. Let's put it this way, dude. I used to literally, like, as a kid, I literally used to dress up as Link for Halloween every year. Like, that's how much of a Zelda fan I am, dude. Like, as a kid, I would always dress up as Link for Halloween every year. And I would keep up with the styles. I would do the different versions every year as you know time went on no Link's a dude Zelda's a chick Zelda's the chick Link's the dude I was for a minute dude I was actually making good money for a minute but then like I said trolls came in took it over fucked it up now I'm kind of Starting over again. Or attempting to start over, I should say. Yeah, no, believe it or not, I've got a few tattoos I want to get. I do actually have a few tattoos that I do want to get, Amy, so. Thank you for reminding me about that. Because I do still have a few tattoos that I do want to get. Before I get too old and wrinkly. I mean, I'm only 33, but still. I'd like to get them at some point within the next 30 years. <laughs> And believe it or not, one of my cousins is actually a tattoo artist. So whenever I get the money, all I gotta do is call him and be like, yo, dude, can you hook me up with this tattoo? What do I drink every morning, dude? Hot ass coffee to wake my ass up, dude. Do I have any tattoos? No, I don't. Like I said, I have a cousin that does tattoo work. He owns his own shop, and I'm actually uh, saving up, well, going to be saving up as soon as I can to be able to actually start getting tattoos. And people always ask me, well, what are you going to get for a tattoo? I've got a few ideas. I'm definitely getting a Lincoln Park tattoo. That's for damn sure. Like, I'm definitely either getting Chester or the LP logo. I'm definitely getting one of those two things. But as for the rest, we're going to have various stuff like uh, Studio Ghibli stuff, anime stuff, gaming stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to have some memorial stuff to commemorate friends, family, and stuff like that. I'm definitely having that done. And somewhere either on my ribs or on my chest somewhere. I do want to get the lyrics from the song You Only Live Once by Suicide Silence. I do want to get the verse that says you only live one life for a very short time so make every second divine. Like I am going to get that at some point. Dude I never even owned a tattoo gun bro. Like, where are people getting this I own the tattoo gun from? Because I never owned a tattoo gun. The fuck? The only mechanical thing that I own is that fucking hydraulic handbrake back there. No, 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 no. Because they're fucking weirdos. The only thing that somebody sent me that my mom started to keep. 
Because that's actually for an actual car. Like, that handbrake is for an actual car. Like, it's got the slots for where you put the tubing and the hosing in and everything. Like, it's actually for an actual car. I know, it's weird. One of my friends sent it to me as a joke one time, and I'm like, the fuck? I just had a USB handbrake, not a mechanical handbrake. Why did she filter the mail? Because we do tend to get a lot of fucked up stuff. We do have trolls that will send just really nasty shit and really fucked up stuff. Um, one time... One time someone, and I know it's going to sound gross, but one time somebody actually ended up sending a dead baby pig still in the mother's fetal sack to our house. So, yeah, after that we were like, dude, like, this can't be going on. We need to filter the mail. Because this kind of shit don't need to be going on. What kind of car am I going to put it in? Honestly, dude, I'm kind of thinking about just hanging on to it for decoration. Because it's kind of a funny story piece. Unfortunately, yeah, they cut the mother's... They had the mother's fetal sac removed from the body. And, yeah. It was, it was nasty, dude. I actually, let's put it this way, dude. Hold on. Hold on one sec. again sending people to our house but ah nice try troll boy On the bottom for sale? Fuck no. Yeah, it's still ain't showing up to our house. What are the inspiring? Depends on what style we're talking. <clears throat> now, I will say the only thing that we did think was a troll at first that my mom did filter and I ended up keeping. Because it is not a real thing. Well, it's real, but it is this right here, which is, for all y'all that are Demon Slayer fans, you guys will know this. This is actually Tanjiro's, this is actually a wood replica of Tanjiro's sword from Demon Slayer. And this is actually wood. Like, it's not metal, it's wood. But, yeah. And it's full scale, too. And do I do training with this? Yes, I do, actually. Diamond order? Alright. See? Wood. Do I still have the... Oh, you're talking about the martial arts ski? Yes, I do. Oh, 
But back to the no, like I said, that's wood. That's not sharp at all, it's wood. I use that for training and practicing. Uh da -da -da -da. hang on here. There was an art question here that I seen. Where was it? Uh Alright, so what artists inspire me? Um, what artists inspire me? It depends on what style we're talking. And if we're talking dark art style, like dark artistry, like if we're talking like nightmare fuel dark, definitely Bekshinsky for sure. Uh, Junji Ito, he's another one that I respect. Uh, graffiti style, there's a lot. You got TKO. You got all kinds of shit, dude. Like, there's a lot of... You got a lot of graffiti artists out there that I do respect. Um... Cartoon-wise, I know a lot of people hate this dude, but definitely Walt Disney, because I grew up on Disney, even though I fucking hate Disney, it's evil as fuck. But that's for another story, but that's for another video. But, definitely him, uh, Miyazaki for sure, definitely, obviously I respect Studio Ghibli and Miyazaki. Um, Isao Takahata, love Takahata's work. Um, the people that did all the different animes that I grew up on, uh, like Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, all that shit, so, yeah. And that's kind of where I get a lot of my artistry style from, is a combination of all that. Now, music-wise, I draw off of so many different genres, dude. I draw off of so many different bands and artists and genres that it's insane. Now, let me see if this is actually scuffed. Oh, yeah, it is. What up, Scuffed? But, uh, yeah. Okay, if you're trying to send it to me, don't request it. Um, if you want to send me money, then send them my way, and I, I'll donate you for a case of beer. Bruh. If you want, dude, I'm going to tell you right now, Scott, if you want to get beer, get your own beer, fucking. Bro, if you want to get beer, get your own beer, bro. <laughs> what do do I look like a free beer machine to you, bro? Why don't I play Street Fighter Six? Because I don't have it yet. I do want to get my hands on it, though, man. I have played the demo. I have played the shit out of the demo. I need to get my hands on it, dude. I do want to get the new Street Fighter. I definitely do want to get my hands on the new Street Fighter, for sure.
Like I said, I played the demo, and I love the demo. From what I played in the demo, dude, fucking amazing, dude. Like, they really stepped it up. And believe it or not, that's currently the game that I'm actually working on trying to save up for as much as I can. Do I Grand City? Fuck yeah, bro. Ren and Stimpy's my shit. Ren and Stimpy, Three Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, Dexter's Lab, all that shit. Yeah. I'm fucks with Ren and Snippy. Funny shit. And maybe one of the, and I did see a comment earlier about doing some swordsmanship with that, and one of these days I might, but like I said, I want to get rid of these trolls first and get back to a regular life, to where I don't have to worry about them anymore before I go about doing anything like that. Because knowing these trolls, they'll pull some fuck shit, and yeah. I just don't need that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need that kind of heat on me right now. Do I have Discord? No, I don't currently. I do not currently have a Discord. And the reason for that is because the last time I had a Discord, trolls came in and broke in and took it over and it was just it was a mess. Like it was a it was a it was a fucking mess. Like they literally broke into my Discord raided my discord and did a whole bunch of bullshit that just was unnecessary and uncalled for and then after that i was just like nah bro like i need to take a break plus i've read a few things about discord having problems anyways and I don't want to be in the mix of that, if that makes any sense. Hot coffee, like always. <clears throat> I'm always sipping on hot coffee early in the morning, too. Like, when it's cold outside or it's early in the morning, well, this is technically morning for me because I just woke up, like, a few hours ago. <laughs> so, for me, this is, like, my morning wake up, get up type of deal. Now, there is a song I am going to play for you guys that's actually very common, and I will actually send you guys, or post a link to this, rather, in the comments for you guys to check out. But I came across this video not too long ago, actually. Let's see if I can find it here. Let's 
See if I can find the damn thing. Ah, right here. Like, I came across this song about two, three years ago. Something like that. Dude, you guys are in now, we're good. Sorry about that. Can you guys hear me now, are we good? But like I said, I would love to go visit Japan, dude. Like, I think visiting Japan would definitely be a fun experience for me. Not only going there to obviously visit, you know, the anime capital of the world, but also just to go there to visit Miyamoto Musashi's uh, school that he started before he had passed. Go visit his site or his grave site. Go visit the Redondo Cave. Like, I would honestly love to do that. Like, that's something that I've always wanted to do, and that I still to this day would love to do. What console do I own? Xbox. That's it. Well, and PC. Xbox and PC, and that's it. You can't really consider Game Boy Advance a console, because that's more of a handheld, but, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot one. I do actually own a Nintendo Wii. I actually forgot about that. I have a Nintendo Wii, an Xbox, and PC. I'm over here looking, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about the, I forgot about the Wii, oops. But, yeah. Actually, I have, 
and it does help a lot of times it actually does help Like I was saying at the beginning, of, the beginning of this video, man, and like I've said a million times before, you know, I'm just looking for a way out of all this shit so I can start over fresh. Like I seriously want to be able to get my life back to the way that it was. I mean, granted, don't get me wrong. Doing the job that I'm going to be doing and getting paid like I am, that is a good, that is definitely a step in the right direction for sure. Like, that definitely is a step in the right direction for sure. But outside of that, you know, I want to get everything back to normal all at the same time. You know, I definitely do want to get things back to normal at the same time. You know, get away from the trolls for good. You know, start over fresh. Be able to do what I need to do. To be able to make a living and live normally to where I can come on here with you guys and not have to worry about being trolled. Release my music and artwork without having to worry about anything. You see what I'm saying? Because what these people are doing to people like me, it's not okay. And it's not cool. And I would not wish this on anyone. Because I'll be honest, I'm tired of living like this. Not being able to do things that I used to do. Not being able to release artwork for you guys. Not being able to release anything for you guys. That stuff kills me. I hate that. I hate that you guys don't get to get the stuff that you want out of me because these people want to take and ruin my life for no reason. I mean, they say they have a reason, but do they really? No. Because what these people are doing is wrong. And it needs to stop. And boy, a nice, nice try to take my name, dude. And you're not wrong, dude. They did. You're not wrong. They did. But at the same time, you have to consider this. This is something to seriously consider. What these people are doing is ruining my life. Actually, not that spelling, dude. And really, in what way did I steal it? Goodbye. I 
what's their reason? Their reason for coming at me is because they fully believe that I am a supposed pedophile. They think that because when Mass Hole illegally entrapped me, like, what she did wasn't illegal, but the way she went about it is what made it illegal. Um, they fully believe that I am that. They fully believe that I am a pedophile when I'm not. A real pedophile actually goes out and actually tries to meet up with kids and do certain things but not once in my whole life have I ever done that and they fully believe this shit and to them I according to them I am a supposed pedophile and according to them pedophiles don't deserve peace when I have done everything in my power and shown multiple times proof that I don't do things and no, she is not. Mass Hole Reports, or more commonly known as Mass Troll Mafia now, whose real name is Kate Peters. Um, she is a private citizen out of another state. She did it from another state to get views. The way she went about it actually was entrapment, dude. The way she went about it actually was a form of entrapment. The way she did it actually was a form of entrapment. Yes, she did. She ended up contacting me first. I did not reach out to her. She reached out to me. So, yeah. Actually, that's not true, dude. Law enforcement, I actually did some research. Law enforcement is not allowed to do that. I mean, they can, but they're not allowed to do it without actual proof. And there's the thing, Kate does not work for any kind of law enforcement at all. And she did not have any evidence that I was such things. And as a result, I've been attacked multiple times. I've had a lot of bad shit done to my family. We've had our house vandalized multiple times. Alright, Bildix, what is an LEO? Oh, law enforcement officer, okay. No, I see what you mean now. Actually, that's not true. And I can actually prove that right now. Watch this. Entrapment is illegal and may be used as an affirmative defense in some criminal cases. Uh, da, 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 state.
All right, so technically you're both right. Technically you both are right on that, because listen to this, this is what I just found out. A charm is when a law enforcement officer, officer persuades someone to commit a crime that they would not otherwise commit. Entrapment is illegal, while sting operations are legal. Entrapment, entrapped individuals are not illegal, but they are also not legal either. So technically, you both are right. So technically, you both are right on that. It's not legal, but it's not exactly illegal either. So technically, it's both. I see, and that's what I'm saying, dude. I see, Bill Dix, that's what I'm saying. The way she went about it was illegal. She illegally committed the act against me. Therefore, what she did is technically illegal. So if you really think about it from that standpoint, it technically is illegal the way she went about it. Because if she would have gone about it the right way, she would have done her homework and taken the proper steps. In order for you to legally entrap somebody, you need to do your research on them. You need to find out if they have a criminal record or not. Therefore, what she did, I could take that shit to court and I could win that case very easily. Because of the fact that the way she went about it was indeed very illegal. She did not have any proof that I was this or that. So therefore, what she did was technically entrapment and guess what I can tell every one of you guys right now is a troll so you guys fell for my trap oh wait so he's already banned oh wait no it's not goodbye But, I never heard anything about that, so I don't have any comment on that, BJ. I didn't hear about that, I don't know anything about that, therefore I'm not going to comment on that. Because, as I do not know what happened with that, so yeah. But, like I said, man, I'm just trying to get back to real life. Because I'll be honest, I'm sick of these people doing what they're doing. I'm sick of them getting away with this shit. I want nothing to do with these people, man. Like, I want away from all of this garbage. Because what these people are doing is wrong. And it needs to stop. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to hop off for now. I'm going to try to do some shit to try to take my mind off of things. And, yeah. 
trying to figure out a way to put a stop to this shit because this has got to stop. But uh, with that being said, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day, afternoon, evening, wherever you guys are at. And uh, I will catch you guys later on, man. Peace.